It's time for a fresh start for our Saints here as we launch year three of the New Orleans Saints franchise. Welcome back, everybody. It's a new season with a lot of new faces on this team, and I'm excited to see how this year's team can hopefully take steps forward after a tough rebuilding year two that saw us go 5-12. and 12. It was not the year I expected, but I knew it could happen to a team in this situation. And we come into this year having regrouped and brought in a lot of new rookies and veterans to make us better. I want to see the defense take some steps this year. We were number 32 in the league last year, one of the worst against the run. And we've added players to all levels of this defense. Now, I assumed we'd open this year against Derek Carr, who was our quarterback the last two years. The Bucs signed him in free agency. And he was listed atop their depth chart for a while. However, they will be playing Jason Tracy today, just as they did a year ago. It's kind of a last second switch. This Bucks team has also added Khalil Mack and an interesting rookie class. They went James Wheeler in the first round, came back with Brian Fox later. They had a pretty good class. And I think this is a team that we certainly can't overlook as we try to get back to the top of this division. I think all four teams are in it, but I'm hoping our defense gives us much more of a fighting chance. Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa now takes over for Demario Davis at linebacker. We also spent early picks on defensive linemen, one of which will start today. That's Justin Medlock. On the offensive side, of course... We have a new quarterback this year, which you never know how these changes are going to go. And we're not trying to have Trey Lance run our old offense. We wanted to move into a new direction, a direction he would actually fit really well with. But he's really inexperienced. Do we have the players around him to elevate? That's really tough when you're talking about a quarterback who's not one of the 10 or 15 best. I think we've brought in good rookies. We have a number one receiver in Chris Olave, Ryan Ramchek at tackle. And one of my biggest questions as we want to be more run heavy, can Alvin Kamara still shoulder the load at 30 years old coming off the injury that ended his season last year? Does he still have enough in the tank? A lot of questions about this team. I do feel like the roster is moving in the right direction. And some of the players I'm excited about we're not even going to see until a couple weeks from now. Here's James Bolden, one of our early draft picks, second rounder last year. Can he help take a leap? Guys like Bolden, A.T. Perry, Jacoby Pierman. If someone takes a big leap, it can shorten our road back to the top. Leave your predictions down below on who you think could break out and play a big role for this team. But let's get the year underway. Season 3 is off. And we're going to start it with Jacoby Pierman taking it out of the end zone across the 20. And he is stopped at the 22, which sets the stage for the new QB1, Trey Lance. The number three overall pick back in 2021 by San Francisco. Ended up losing the job there to Brock Purdy. Went to Dallas in a trade, then became a free agent. It is only his fifth career NFL start. And it opens with a run to the outside. Alvin Kamara, welcome back. 12 yards off tackle. Expect a lot of runs and a lot of off tackle runs. To the right, following Ramchick and the rookie Kevin Blackwell. It is a gain of seven. I'm really excited about the new tight ends on this team. Kamara bottled up on the third straight carry. And he's a little slow to get up, and he's going to exit. That means Kendra Miller, who started most of last year, is in. Converts on third down, has an opening, and he's into buck territory with a 14-yard pickup. We know Miller can definitely handle a workload. He showed that a year ago. Now off the fake, a shot from Lance. Out of bounds for Chris Olave. Lance does have a strong arm and wants to use it. Now he's pressured and can't deliver to Olave. That falls incomplete. And this run-heavy offense now needs to find a way. Third down. They run again. Miller. First down, New Orleans. 
I don't think anyone expected that. The drive continues. Behind Miller, following Gilliam to the edge. That goes for six. Four new tight ends and a new fullback on this roster. The entire tight end room has been replaced. Lance rolls left, fires complete to the rookie, Kevin Blackwell inside the five. He is the third round selection. Saints set up goal to go. It is Lance to Miller, ahead to the one. And they pound this in, it's been such a good opening drive. They run again, and this time, pounding it in, John Waters, touchdown. How many of you expected John Waters to be the first to score this year? Saints setting the tone, 7-0 New Orleans. This is the second year player, Joey Nance on the return, right up the middle and into Saint territory. A Debo giving chase to the 10 and he stops him a yard shy of the end zone. Joey Nance with a short field given to second year quarterback Jason Tracy. I really thought we'd be seeing Derek Carr, but a last minute switch here for the Buccaneers. It is the second year Tracy who led the league in picks last season. He's blitzed on first down and sacked. And it's Eric Kendricks and Tracy getting up slowly. We're getting Derek Carr in this game, aren't we? Number four is in, Carr in the Superdome as a visitor again. Second and goal, he will throw. It is caught, Chris Godwin for a short gain. It'll be third down. Derek Carr replaced by Jake Hayner last year, gives to the fullback. Andrew Beck is stuffed and he does not score. That will bring out the field goal team for Tampa and they will settle for points. What a stand for this defense. Back to Trey Lance and the offense, and Alvin Kamara is back in. Lance off the fake, carrying it out. Too far for Kevin Blackwell, who was a star in preseason alongside Trey Lance. On third down, time to throw in. Traffic incomplete. Dangerous. And here comes Jason Tracy now. So whatever injury it was, not serious. And he will throw on first down to the outside. And that's the rookie tight end, Cam Graham. Both teams relying on rookies at that position. Now a veteran, that's Mike Evans on the catch to about the 50. They got the reigning rookie of the year running back in the game. And he is chased down by James Bolden. That is a TFL. Hoping to see Bolden take a big leap this season. He's out there with JOK at linebacker. Third and seven! Tracy is sacked. It is Foskey and Gibson combining. They'll bring out Jake Camarda now with Jacoby Pierman, second year wide out back deep. From his own 13. Looking to cut this across. The punter is there, he shakes loose. Pierman across the 30, looking for the angle and run out at the 47 by Zion McCollum. Good return for Pierman, short field. Up the middle, there's Camara. Good block by Luke Rowe. You will see more I formation and a lot of the fullback, Reggie Gilliam, who's helping protect Lance as he takes another shot. And that is out of bounds for Chris Olave. Almost all the throws have been downfield and they have not connected. Back to the run, first down, Camara. What a push they're getting. Tampa as a run defense has been great for years and the Saints are gashing them. One run after another. That is seven for 62 from Camara and Kendra Miller had some good runs as well. Red zone trip number two, Lance. It is incomplete again. Off the hands of Blackwell. He was the fourth Saint selected this year, and you should see a lot of the rookies. Although first round pick, Juan Beard, injured at the moment. Lance to the end zone, too far. Kevin Blackwell the target. Trey Lance is one for nine. Yet the offense hasn't been a complete disaster. 
A field goal makes it a seven point game. We're still in the first. That's a fake to Robinson and Tracy is dumped again. Travis Gibson, who's starting for the injured James Houston. Third and a dozen now. Tracy pressured, sacked again. Isaiah Foskey. This is the pass rush we hope to see. They never looked that good in the preseason. Another short field, another good run. Alvin Kamara first down. We are controlling the line of scrimmage. In motion is Pierman. He takes it wide, and Khalil Mack has seen it all at this point. Loss of three. On second and long, Lance again outside. It is caught. Incomplete, though, as Kevin Blackwell, they say, did not get both feet down. And the challenge flag came out from New Orleans really quickly. But if we see the second foot here, he lunges and strides, and that keeps him from getting both feet down cleanly. Saints charge the timeout, third and 13. Lance gets it away, and it's caught! First down, A.T. Perry. Had to give him time in the pocket. The Saints do that, and Perry does a great job on the comeback. The drive continues. Feeding Camara inside the 20. They have never made it look this easy in this series, but we are built to run. Same look on first down. Now Lance will keep it and just dives ahead. He'll take his three. Here's a new look. They go pistol. Lance to the right. He's taken down by Mack. And Trey Lance is shaken up on the play. Grabbing at that offhand wrist, and he's going to exit, which means Sam Darnold will come into the game. We signed two quarterbacks in the offseason, and Darnold now on third down is pressured and delivers at the feet of Kamara incomplete. The Buccaneers take over. It's now a 10-point game after a second field goal, and Tracy delivers underneath. That's Mike Evans for about nine. Kind of a wacky game so far. We got Tracy off the fake. He fires it and finds Chris Godwin. That's inside the Saint 30. Jason Tracy did beat the Saints the last time these teams met. Tracy on target, and that's Nico Collins, the third receiver in this terrific trifecta for Tampa. Tracy on second down. To the middle, it's Big Mike Evans at the five. Tracy is eight for eight. Despite taking a lot of hits, he's standing in, delivering. Now he escapes and runs it in. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Tracy gets the Buccaneers within a score. Trey Lance did not finish the last drive, and he is not going to be returning to this game. Sam Darnold hands to Alvin Kamara, who works this run outside, and he has cleared 100 yards already. Offset eye. Darnold fakes. Pressure's on, and he throws incomplete. Not much to speak of in the passing game. It's been all about the run. Third down. Darnold lofting. Incomplete for Perry. That's Joey Nance on the coverage. Defense out for New Orleans. Tracy fakes to Robinson. A shot, and it's broken up by Jabril Peppers. One of our other big splash signings in free agency. On second down, pressure from Brissy, and Tracy just gets rid of it. I'm still expecting Brissy to be the best pass rusher this team has. On third down, Foskey getting through again. And what a game he's put together. That's five first half sacks for New Orleans. Two minutes and change to go though in the first half. Darnold to Blackwell and that is incomplete. He's been targeted a lot. Not much success in the passing game. On third down, caught by Chris Olave. That is actually a first down. And we'll keep it in the air here. Darnold, too far for Josh Oliver. Completing a pass has never looked so difficult. 
Here's third down. Pass outside. Incomplete for Pierman. Matched up with Jamel Dean. They're going to bring out the field goal team now. This is 58 yards. Groupie's going to need every bit of power he's got. And it's good. Saints extend their slim lead. It is 16 to 10. Still some time for Jason Tracy. On first down, slings it to Godwin right in front of Tony Adams. Good start. 50 seconds to go now. Going short to Collins and getting into St. Territory. With 43 on the clock, pressure's on. Tracy sacked again. Brian Brissy. What a first half for the defense as Tracy feels rush again and throws it away. They've done their job, especially considering the Buccaneers got one of their scoring drives off of a kick return to the one yard line. Good first half for New Orleans, but a lot of work to do and a lot of questions now as they're missing their quarterback and they have not completed very many passes at all. What else is happening here in week one? Well, we have an AFC East matchup, a low scoring one with the Bills and Jets, and the Jets will be our week two opponent. And then in Minnesota, not going well for them against the Kansas City Chiefs. It is 17 to nothing. Patrick Mahomes having a monster first half. Here in New Orleans, Saints lead by six, but a whole half to go. Jason Tracy gets the ball first and it's Going to be a throw over the middle, complete to Cam Graham. The second round tight end. Already near midfield, it is a run to Antonio Gibson, and that's enough for a first down. They have not ran the ball much, falling down early. They've let Jason Tracy throw it as they did a year ago. He's got time, resets and floats over the top. It is caught by Mike Evans. Got that over a couple defenders nicely. And the Bucks are now in the red zone. With a run to Gibson. Inside the 10. Saints not ready for the run game on this drive. Blitz coming. Tracy to the end zone. Touchdown, Cam Graham. First of his career as he beats Jabril Peppers. And the Buccaneers will look to take the lead. And I want to see what this offense is capable of now. Can you keep running the ball as you did in the first half? And can you find a way to get the pass game going? Here's Kamara through an arm tackle of Mack. And he loses the ball. But Ramchek falls on it. Big recovery there. It is first down Saints. They go play action. And caught by Chris Olave. There's a layup as Sam Darnold completes his third pass. I want to say we're at five completions. Make it six, Olave. Catch and run to Buck territory. That is what the offense was missing. Into field goal range again. They run it with Camara. Gets a block on the outside. Olave gives him one more. Touchdown. I think this run game is clicking just fine. Big blocks by Kevin Blackwell and Chris Olave as the Saints will go for two. Darnold to throw, gets it out, and diving into the void is A.T. Perry, 24-17. All right, defense, can you hold it now? Jason Tracy to the air on first down. He wheels left and fires it down the middle. He's got Nico Collins. He's throwing it all over the yard. That's how you got the 20... Eight interceptions last year, or whatever it was. Here's a run blitz, and they stuff Chris Robinson. And that brings up fourth down. So the kicker is Matt Gay. Has a very strong leg, and from 59, he just can't push it enough to the right. No good. A lot of short fields here for the Saints offense. First down, pitch and catch, Kevin Blackwell. From the 39 of Tampa, Camara stopped in the backfield by Odafe Owe. 
That's one of the first times he's been even met in the backfield. Second and long now, and Darnold goes short. That's A.T. Perry outrunning Nance to the outside. It's a first down. 4.36 to go in the third. Here's a fake. Darnold up top wants Olave, and it's knocked away at the last moment by Carlton Davis. Third and long. They go spread out for Darnold. End zone shot again. This time caught for the touchdown. Chris Olave. First of the season. Saints in front. Sam Darnold looking for another chance. And you never know how these are going to go. Sometimes injury will give a guy a new opportunity. And that is a big connection. Saints up 14 here in the third. Running with Robinson. Not much there at all. It's Kendricks on the stop. Has to be done through the air. Third down. Missing. Godwin. What a blitz they dialed up that time. Perfect. And the ball's back to New Orleans again quick. Outside. Here goes Camara in a foot race. Not winning as many of those at the age of 30. Here is third down and six. Darnold's got time. He looks to the sideline. Cut by Olave again. They've got him going here in the second half the way they need to. New set of downs. This one's floated right to Carlton Davis, and it's intercepted. He didn't try leading him at all there. Just kind of lobbed it up. Here's the opening for Tampa. Two-score game, fourth quarter. Tracy rolls and throws it complete right in front of James Bolden. From the 35, pressure coming, and there's no escaping. Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa. Seven sacks for the Saints D. Third and long, looking for a screen. It's bounced in front of the receiver incomplete. They're going to kick again. We saw a long-range miss last time. Now from 60. Off the upright and no good. Saints ball at midfield. Fake to Camara On the roll. Darnold not even close to Perry. Blackwell motions left on second down. They look to run behind the rookie again. And the edge is open. Good run. As Olave now looks to be shaken up. And he's going to come out. He's grabbing at his left wrist. So Jacoby Pierman is now in the game. It's third and short. Dumped off and caught for the first down. That is K.J. Osborne. The veteran coming over from Minnesota. On first down. Again through the middle. This is Miller now. And he gets a dozen more. I just can't believe the way we've ran it at these guys throughout this game. Vita Vea has not been the same factor he's been in so many meetings. Darnold patient. Darnold not even close to Perry. A lot of off-target throws from the Saints offense. Now third down. They try to get tricky and lose a bunch. Staying in field goal range, though. Here is Blake Groupie to put him up three scores. Right down the middle. 34-17 as the Saints look to beat the Buccaneers for the second straight season in week one. Less than nine minutes from doing just that. Nate's on the return. He's going right down the middle again. And this time, I don't know if anyone's going to catch him. Nance to the end zone. He finishes the job. And the Buccaneers can perhaps stay in this game. Eight minutes to go. They've got to play some good defense. In a 10-point game, Miller with the run, takes it left, gets a couple. But now no Chris Olave. He's the go-to guy on third downs. That's cut by Pierman. And he loses the ball. Tampa ends up with it. Let's take a second look here. It is a bang-bang play. Yeah, the knee was down. They're going to reverse that. Big break for New Orleans. 
fake from Darnold, takes it right, and incomplete. These quarterbacks have not been able to throw downfield today. Bluffing on third and seven, Darnold, he overthrows and gets picked off by Justin Reed. What a pick. He just dives for the overthrown football. And that's the second interception thrown by Sam Darnold. The Buccaneers are still in it. Six minutes to go. Gibson on the screen, getting blocks set up. And he's inside the St. 40. Tracy first down, looking left, pressured, and gets it away. Ryan Brissy has created a lot of havoc up front. On second down, there he is again. What a hit from Adams. That's a loss of three. Now, the Saints on third and long last year. It was their Achilles heel. They come after Tracy, who overthrows Cam Graham. Fourth down. Another long-range try, 55, and this one is good. The Buccaneers make it a one-score game. Can the Saints run it out? This is what you do when there's four and a half minutes to go. Camara brought down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Bucs starting to load and get aggressive. Fake, blitzing Darnold, they got him! Brian Fox, the rookie linebacker, sets up third and long. And the Saints go empty, bleeding the clock. Darnold just dumps it underneath for Pierman. And now they'll bring out the punter as the Bucks get a chance to tie. The comeback still within reach as Becker boots it away. Nance handles the punts as well. From his own 30, finds a crease, and even that's a good return. So he's their third corner and a dynamic return man. The Buccaneers take over. Tracy dishes underneath for Godwin. And uh, injured Saint, that's Travis Gibson. Second and two, off play action. Now Godwin gets the catch and run. And he loses it at the end, but recovers his own fumble. We've hit the two minute warning. 33 yards out, incomplete. Well covered that time. That was Tommy Tomlinson. Buccaneers going right back to the air. Tracy for Godwin has blockers in front. First down, good play design there. Into the red zone now. They have all their timeouts, plenty of time on the clock. On the screen, Robinson cuts it inside and is down inside the five. And the Saints will use their first now, anticipating they may have to answer. First and goal. Tracy dumps it. Caught by Robinson. There's a flag. He found the end zone, but it's coming back. Holding on Tampa. And they're going back to the 15. A costly error there. First down for Tracy. That's hauled in by Collins. Short gain, and now the fourth rounder, Paul Redman, is shaken up. Play action on second down. Tracy running, now throws it away with 48 seconds left. Gibson checks into the backfield. They run it with him, and Brissy shuts it down. Fourth and goal from the 10. This next throw has to go to the end zone, and we're down to 24 seconds. Here we go with Tracy, giving time, end zone, intercepted! Jabril Peppers! And the Saints take over with a chance to end it. What a stand for this defense. Now, the Buccaneers have all three timeouts. This is Kamara. He's getting pushed forward by Blackwell. It's a three yard gain. A first down ends it. Up the middle. And a short gain again. Third and three. A chance to close them out. They bring motion. Give to Perry. Through the first defender. And stop short. Fourth and inches. Saints with seven seconds to go. You just got to run out this clock now. Becker the punter. 
And it goes to the up man, and the Buccaneers bring him down with five seconds left. No, that's not how you're supposed to do this. You need to give it to the punter, let him run around, take his safety. You can't go direct to the up man. I don't think they practiced this play, and they've now given the Buccaneers one last chance. Broken up by Greg Cook. There's one second left. Of course there is. You've got to do it one more time. To close it out, they come after Tracy. Evans inside the 10 does not get there, and it's over at last. A sigh of relief as the Saints win here in week one. It really shouldn't have been that interesting. 34-27. I saw that play was called like fake punt direct pass or whatever. I thought it was direct to the punter. Not the up man. Why would I have him throw the ball? Either way, we're not doing that again. We won. And we also lost a lot in this game. There were a lot of players who left with injury. I love how we ran the football, though. That is what I wanted to establish this week, and it went better than I could have hoped. I thought that the offensive line played great in the run and pass games, and then the outside running game was like nothing we've done before. You know, Jawan Johnson wasn't a fit for that. Even Taysom Hill wasn't really the best fit. But now we've got tight ends who can really block, and Kevin Blackwell was like having a third tackle on the field today. I thought he did an outstanding job. James Bolden fell short of his goal today. It's hard to get an off-ball linebacker to TFLs. Got one early, couldn't get any more, unfortunately. But because of our scenario success, although we didn't get like the ultimate goal here with the passing yards, we still get 1,000 XP for the victory for all the players. Now, there were a lot of players who got hurt this week. And there are two more now added to the injury report. Trey Lance and Chris Olave suffered upper arm fractures. Olave will miss two games. Lance will miss three. The injuries have been really prevalent going through preseason, now week one. I don't know what it is because like, I don't update my game very often, but it feels like now they're doing server side updates that I am feeling there was a situation a few months ago where everybody started dropping passes and I had changed no sliders or anything. Now it feels like injuries are an issue. So I'm going to knock down injuries. We lost two players for multiple weeks. They lost players for multiple weeks. There were injuries on multiple kicks and receivers getting hurt in the running game. Like, I'm okay with injuries, obviously. I want that to be part of the experience, but it's obviously gotten out of hand here. And now we're going to play without our QB1 and without Chris Olave against the New York Jets. So we've got to be really careful on offense. We started careful today for the most part, but we know we can't be going after Sauce Gardner or doing a lot of downfield throwing in this matchup. So I will be knocking down the injury, and whenever I make a change to the settings here, I'm going to show you what I do to not screw up the game further and try to make it play the best I can. I get a lot of feedback about why my games look so good, even if you're playing the same settings as I do. I'm going to show you how I import them and how I try to make the game play the best possible. It'll make sense next episode. But that is it for today. What a start to the year. And by the way, I did go through to see if our games are like getting too long compared to the rest of our league. And yes, looking at last year's numbers, I think uh, our games are about 14 plays longer than the other games played in the franchise that are simmed. So I'm going to knock down quarter length as well and shorten up the games a little bit. But that'll do it for today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. And wish me luck because we're playing with Sam Darnold and A.T. Perry as our starters next week.